Hey, what's up, YouTube? Never done an unboxing video, so I got a Chinese leather stitcher shoe repair contraption, whatever they call it. We're going to unbox it today. All right. So I guess I got a little carried away and a little bored on night shift the other day. Got on Amazon. I finally ordered me a only Chinese leather stitcher shoe repair machines I've seen a ton of reviews a lot of people saying they got them to work awesome and others saying they couldn't get it to work at all but I was willing to take that chance because I can't hardly stitch anymore with my fingers being so messed up it was packed good it came in an outer box also Pack really well. If y'all hadn't seen one of these before, just look up Chinese leather stitcher. They call it a shoe mending machine, cobbler's machine. Definitely packed good. I've already seen the reports that it's highly covered in oil. Comes with a little stand, three-legged stand also. But it's a mechanical stitcher, it's hand operated. Comes with some needles, and other various parts. It's got a heavy coating of grease on it. Or you see, no, I might have to clean it really well first. Come to the roll of string. light on the subject maybe it won't be too shaky one-handed here As you can see it's got a super heavy coating of packing grease on it but they do string it it's all strung up and it shows that it it's already stitched that feels like a probably a maybe two ounce piece of leather two or three but it's supposed to do super thick leather so anyway I'll get this set up. I'm going to set it up and I'll show you how it looks. All right. So I got the stitching machine all set up. I'll show you what I did. Uh, I just took some uh, two by eights there and kind of staggered them so I could take it off or on if I wanted it, screw it on. But uh, I got everything cleaned up pretty good for a first pass. Got all, most of the sharp edges knocked off of it. Everything's super sharp on all the edges where they cast it, I don't know. But grease everywhere, got it cleaned up. This piece here, that was as sharp as a, a fine knife. That thing on both sides, would it would get you if you just nicked it. But uh, got it cleaned up, got your little bobbin winder. Mine's not, they, mine's messed up a little bit. It won't even stay on, it won't stay on the wheel. So I'm about to rig that up. That's no big deal. As you see, I've got an overhang here so my hand don't, knuckles don't, so my knuckles don't hit when I spin it around. I tried some oil tan leather first. And uh, right out of the box, no problem stitching. Let me see here, that was size 
size 210 thread right out of the box. So it really, really not a bad looking stitch. So I went on to some three, four ounce leather, put two pieces together with the same thing. Let me get this a little closer, you can see. So see, it makes a pretty good stitch. It's the back side there. But um, I'll get this piece in here and get it started. I'll show y'all what it looks like going. Pop my thread. <laughs> Alright. Alright, there's a stitch I just made. There's one thing I'm about to go in. I'm about to smooth out that walking foot. At least some pretty good marks. And I'm about to learn how to sew. I don't know how to sew. I should have picked it up when I turned it, I guess. Um, what happened just there when my thread snapped was... It comes with this uh, thread spool holder. It just screws in here. It's supposed to sit here, but it's impossible. It don't work, so that went in the trash. So I got my thread just sitting here on the desk. <laughs> got me a thread holder going up there. What happened was it just it just snagged in there and held the thread and popped it. So I gotta I gotta work on that, but. It's working right out of the box. Let's try it again. I got a project I'm wanting to do and this stitch length is just about right, right out of the box and the thread size also. So I'm gonna see if I can recreate what I'm gonna try for a project coming up. So here we go. Yeah, I don't know nothing about sewing, stitching, whatever you want to call this, but it'll take some getting used to trying to make the curves, when to spin it with the presser foot, and just need to watch a few more videos. There's plenty of videos out there, too, on trying to get these things running. What this does a thicker thread on for my leather sheep projects with no problem. I'm gonna be happy. All right. All right. Now pick 
up the foot. Pull some slack. How about that? That's not too bad. That is going to be perfect from the project I'm fixing to attempt to do. All right, so that's about two hours cleaning, cleaning edges, cleaning grease, about four practice runs, and I was able to do that. So we'll see where this goes. I'll get with y'all next time. Until then, we'll see y'all down the road.